Everything is underwater. You can't swim or float to the top when an undercurrent holds you hostage. Sometimes I panic because I know that when a ship sinks, it doesn't happen suddenly. There's usually a small leak that grows and floods. Over time, the boat takes on more and more water. It's a slow parade of failure. The boat dips and disappears below the waves with barely a splash. I'm panicking because I don't want to become unmovable, stuck, like a ship at the bottom of the ocean floor. People keep telling me I look great, that I've lost weight. That's easy to do if you don't eat. My nerves are shot and my appetite has been swallowed by anxiety. Food is an afterthought when days merge and flow past. Makeup is the only solace I have that I hide behind. Strategic smiles and kind-hearted eyes so no one asks questions. So many people have their own problems, so why should I talk about mine? I'm fine. The first test of the semester sank my grade. I got a D. If I don't pull at least a B in this class, I'll lose my scholarship. I'll have to drop out or transfer back home to move in with mom. Not that I don't love her. I just can't go back to that town. My professor pretends to be concerned. He wants to meet and discuss my grade. I'll tell him I can do better, that I'll try harder. I'll drag my sleepless body from my bed before noon. I'll try. Maybe I'll see a sunrise once this year. I'll try. The truth is, I feel too far below the surface to come up for air. I don't feel prepared. College is so much different. No one warned us it would be like this. Or did they? And I was too busy splashing around in the shallow end. My friends from freshman year tried to throw me along. Liz invited me out with a group of girls. Some house party that stank like beer and stuffy smoke. Too hot, too crowded, too loud. When Liz and some sorority girls went to dance, I found a chair in the corner. I watched happy freshmen chug while excited bodies spun around the living room. Conversations swam over me. I drowned myself in beer in hopes my nerves would calm down and I could relax, enjoy the night. Instead of loosening up, I only spun myself tighter. I drank more and I drank more. I don't even like the taste of beer. I didn't want to leave without saying goodbye, but I picked up my feet one after the other and stumbled away. Nobody noticed anyways. Mom called me today. I ignored the first three calls, but then I felt guilty, so I finally answered. I listened to her talk about the town gossip, her latest DIY project, how dad was doing, her best friend's sister's divorce, on and on and on. But then she asked me how I was feeling. I was at a genuine loss for words. I feel like I'm underwater. I can't breathe. I feel exhausted. I feel like a failure. I can't hold my head up. I'm underwater. Breathe. I can't Water. breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't I breathe. Can't breathe. breathe. My mother says my name. She brings me back to reality. In, out. I can't breathe, I think. Sweetie, she asks one more time. How are you doing? Everything is fine. I'm fine.